Come on, Tramp Inch. Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back. Fett plays Pokemon Shield. There's a Trap Inch here, and I want it. Sunlight is harsh. Yes, I know. But you also mean in the game. The joke is that it's warm here. Uh, I didn't expect Stoic to suddenly be Muscle Man over here, but apparently he's Muscle Man now. Holy jeez. Like, I know he had the stab bonus and everything, but I didn't expect him to completely rock their socks, dude. Oh, hey, it's one of them uh, Silicobras. Fun name to say. How you doing, Silicobra? Let, you know, let's, um, I'm tempted to just go ahead and try for another Iron Head, but let's try for a Payday first. Yeah, just yark up some gold. All right, that was not that strong. Bulldo, oh no. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Frank. Frank, we need you. Frank needed. Hello. Yeah, try that again. I dare you. He did not try it again. Crafty, crafty. All right. He thinks he's smart. Let's let's go straight for power trip. It has a very low attack power, so this might be a... Uh, I mean, that's a little too low. Bulldoze doesn't affect us, you silly Billy! Don't you know who Frank is? Alright. We're at the red health. Which means we're at the catch health, I hope. Come on, Volps. Come on, one. Yeah, two. And a three. A three. Alright. Beautiful work, team. Thank you for coming in in the clutch there, Frunk. What you got for me? Sand Snake Pokemon. It spews sand from its nostrils. While the enemy is blinded, it burrows into the ground to hide. Oh, so I guess it's a master using sand attack. Which... It's a little... A little annoying. Conceptually. Alright, well, I can tell you two want something out of me, so I'm gonna need a full health... Stoic and Parish combo here. Alright. Just gonna keep using these cheap potions until there's no more cheap potions to use. You should probably consider camping at the end of this episode, maybe. Howdy! Battling is important to better understand Pokemon. Time for a checkup! Wait, what? <laughs> Medical team. Ewan and Evelyn. I don't know if we need a checkup, but hello, Pawnard and Togetek. Alright, the sunlight's harsh, which is not good for Parish. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and Metalhead on Togetek, and then Parish, why don't you go ahead and give us the, your finest poison jab? Parish with the speed advantage does not. Oh, it's a metal type. Steel type. Oh no, he's made Parish mad. He's been tormented. That works, though. Oh, God, his hard head. You do not stand a chance against Stoic's mighty noggin. Look at that dual level up for Frank and for Psy. Psy wants to learn Sucker Punch, yet he has no fist. How do you explain that? That's right. Got him. Um, I want to keep Nasty Plot. Assurance. I mean, Sucker Punch is stronger than Assurance. But I like Assurance more. I don't need you to be sucker punching fools, okay? Ooh, dry skin. Thankfully, I have some sludge to sustain me. Alright, Stoic. Use your mighty... I mean, let's not use it on the empty space. Use your mighty metal head. And let's go for a revenge. From Parrish. That should, that should give us the business here. Ah, crud. That hurt. That's all right. Iron Head! It's still super... That's not very effective! Are you joking me? That looked effective as hell! Isn't Stoic like three levels below this bug? He is like... Yeah, he was! He's like incredibly strong! Ah, I just got so, so concerned when I see injured Pokemon. What is real strength? 
I'm very curious. No, you're not. But thank you for the 14,000 monies. <gasps> we did it, lads. Frank is evolving. We finally get to see his final form. The mighty Corviknight. We have our own taxi now, lads. Cool! The Raven Pokemon, flying and steel. With their greatest in great intellect, maybe not the greatest, and flying skills, these Pokemon are very successfully acting as the Galar region's airborne taxi service. Add a little bit of my own flavor to that one, but this is still cool. He now wants to learn Steel Wing. Again, very reasonable and rational. Uh, not perfect accuracy, but a great hit. That is a big slap. You know what? I will replace Power Trip with that, I think. Yeah. Especially since Hone Claws ups accuracy. Which I assume can make up for the fact that it doesn't have perfect accuracy. And, of course, make it stronger. You know, since we have a couple of fully evolved Pokédudes and Dudettes, let's um, just do another rundown here. Yeah, we could teach Waterfall the Sobs, but it's a physical move, and physical is not his strong suit. I don't want Scary Face. I don't want Pin Missile. Maybe Magical Leap and Brutal Swing if we can ever teach it. A couple of Pokémon can learn Heavy Slam. So this is based on weight, and I doubt Stoic weighs that much. Waterfall, Bulldoze, Parish already knows that. Retaliate. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move's power is increased. So, it, it it's a pretty good slap. I mean, it's 70 damage. I, I'll give it that. Flamethrower, Poison Jab, Flash Cannon. Frank can learn Flash Cannon. It's a special type attack, though. And I don't think that's really in his wheelhouse. Pretty sure he's a physical fiend. Oh, yeah. He's, a, he's definitely a physical... He is not a special attack dude at all. No. No, no, no. He pecks and cuts. He does not use the magic. Alright. Let's get up here. As quickly as we can. Which wasn't that quick when I think about it. What is this? Is that, oh, that's a tramp inch. I should have recognized that. Alright, Stoic. From the top. Let's, let's try taking this a little bit more carefully this time. Alright. Let's just use Metal Claw. Not Iron Head. Oh, yeah! That was, like, such a weaker move! Ah, crud, it's digging. Alright, this is easy rares, because this is our first time to see Frank in battle. The Pokémon can't be switched out. Why? Oh, Trap Inch. Trap Inch, of course. Throw the Pokéball anyway! It's no good, it's impossible to aim at a Pokémon that's not in sight. Oh, no! Stoic, what are you gonna do, dude? Quick! Just throw money all over the place! Help! Oh! Alright, catch it. Please! Stay. No run. Not allowed. Hey, thank you, thank you. Whew. I mean, Stoke did almost demolish it in one hit, but ugh, that almost turned around in a very not fun way. Trap Inch State will be added. Ant Pit Pokemon. It makes an inescapable conical pit and lies in wait at the bottom for prey to come tumbling down. Cool! I like it. It's the cutest little antlion. Anyway. Perish, perish, perish. I don't know why I'm talking to you. Stoke's the one who took all the damage. Actually, you took a lot of damage from the sunlight, too. Vas Where does Vasilla keep getting these dolls, man? Do you collect dolls? And just not tell me about it or something? That's the third one I've had. I was gonna say, can you seriously not see me? I came from far away to watch the gym challenge. I'd love the opportunity to battle a gym challenger. All right, well, apparently it's the law that I have to battle you, so... Come on, Backpacker Diane. Love your, you know, rustic woodland outfit. Anyway, Stoic! You're up against Sock, who's a fighting type, which is not good for us. However, 
you were also at a level disadvantage, so I'm switching you out. Um, you know, we do not have a great team to go up against fighting types. I think our best bet today is going to be Parish, followed by Sobs. Comes a double kick. Yeah, that would have knocked out Stoic, almost guaranteed. Thankfully, Parish over here can take a couple of extra slaps. Ah, the dry skin! Oh, the skin's peeling, which is just not a very pleasant thing to, to think about. So please don't. Ah, he's bulking up. He's getting swole on us. Oh, no. Poison jab. Give me the poison. And give me the jab. Good damage. Dang, he did not get the poison. All right, I'm worried about you, Parrish. I don't think you're the right person to fight here. I don't think Sobs is the best person either. Sobs is a darn sight better than Parrish at this point. All right. You're in charge, Sobs. Land. Survive the low sweep. That looked like a chop, but okay. Oh, jeez! Oh, damn. Snipe shot. Please. I know the sunlight's going to make it weaker, but please. There it is. Oh, no! No! I'm upset! Sorry, Vasilla. I want... Nope, that's not Vasilla. I want you to go out there, because, again, I think you can tank a couple of hits. I'm so happy you're strong. Let's throw out the revive. Okay, and then Vasilla just has to come through and use one attack. Double kick. Oh, wait. This double weak! That! What are you doing, dude? You should have known better. You should have known better. You should have known better. Okay. 100% my fault. Alright. It's not that I'm bad. It's that it's 100 degrees. And I can't think straight. No, just, just pluck him. Just pluck him. Get him out of here. Good lord. Corviknight is huge. I like his armored talons, by the way. Those look awesome. Uh, sorry, Basilla. I did not go the way I wanted it to. Muy dramatical. Fantistical. Or fantistical. Either one. Uh, hey! Parish is evolving! Dude, we had a lot of evolutions recently. Dude got swole! Toxicroak! Very nice. He looks like he's ready to rock. Talk to me. Toxic Mouth Pokemon. It booms out a victory croak when its prey goes down to defeat. This Pokemon and Seismitoad are related species. Cool. Alright. Like that. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna maybe go up these stairs and camp. Gotta remember, there's a TM or TR over there to the right side. I gotta get to that. But, uh, oh, there's a camp over there. You know what? Let's uh, go to that camp first. Two rare bones. A rare bone is extremely valuable for the study of Pokemon archaeology, and it can be sold for a high price. Oh, do I have to go through this th Oh, no! A model who's also strong in battle. That's who I am. I do not want to fight you right now. Model who's strong in battle. Model Nicola. You and your Scorpy. Oh, we should... No, are you part ground? Uh, ah, it says Metal Claw would be effective, so you know what? I'm taking that as a sign. I'm going to try to revive Vasilla now. Okay. Bug Bite. Not very effective indeed. Iron Head. All right, it's honing its claws. Won't matter if it goes down in one shot. Come on! Stoic! Hit it! Not in one shot, but still good. Let's follow that up with a Metal Claw. Another Bug Bite. Still weak. Less weak now, but still weak. Metal Claw! Well done. Alright. 
you can get an attack boost, so I don't feel like I have to keep you out here. Uh, hmm, Pawniard. Frank, I'm going to send you out next. All right, come on out, buddy. Okay, there it is. I mean, it is another metal type, or steel type. I keep calling it metal. Uh, let's hone our claws. All right, that should give us perfect accuracy on either of our moves. Metal sound. Shouldn't be that effective. Well, it's a debuff, so... It was very effective. Um, but we can drill peck in return. Do it! How's that for not very effective? <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, the, the extra damn, the extra attack. It was a critical hit. So it was probably unnecessary. What I'm trying to say is, Frank, you wreck. And I appreciate that. Even if I lose who I am, the charm of Pokemon will never fade. I mean, you're probably right. All right. Speaking of being right, I'm going to go to the right, go down here, and hopefully get myself a nice, smooth new TM. And it'll be—it'll only have the most effective move in all of Pokemondom. That's how you say that, right? Pokemondom. That's—that's that's a phrase that's been used. Trainer tips: You can use each technical machine or TM as many times as you like on your Pokemon. Teach your Pokemon moves of various types to give them an advantage against all types, all kinds of different opponents in battle. Technical records, or TRs, can only be used one time before they break, however. Be more thoughtful when choosing to use them. Alright. I was I wondered what the R stood for. Technical records. Oh! A Dorkel! Cool! He's a fire type. Not cool! Uh, this is this is a rough fight. Oh, gosh. With our team as they are? Yeah, this is a rough fight. Okay, Sob should be our best bet here. Yeah, our team is kind of weak against fire and fighting. I mean, Sobs helps us against the... Oh, dang it. Sobs helps us against the fire. But I don't think we really have help against the fighting. Uh, let's just go straight for Snipe Shot. I think I'd rather take it out instead of risking that you go down. And that does it. Sorry, Torkoal. Were we in a different position, you might have joined us. But not today. Alright. I mean, technically, I didn't expect to fight you anyway. A rare Kando. Alright. We could use that later. Okay, another Silicobra. Hmm. Actually, I want to just see if we can avoid this fight. Dude, I'm so tired of the sun. <laughs> Okay. Let's head over here now. Got ya. TM30, Steel Wing. Uh, okay, I have one flyer in my group, and he already knows it, so cool. But that's okay. That's okay. Just nice to have some neat things, right? Alright, let's make, like, a insulted boy on the internet and apply some burn heal, and then I can uh, use a potion or two on sobs. All right. This has been a, a rough little portion of adventure here. Another Torkoal. Okay. So I did give Sob some more health, and this is kind of... This was actually kind of why. I figured I might end up being against another Torkoal. And I figure I'm ready for it now. Are we ready for it? Come on, Sobs. Don't get lava plumed. That's not bad. And no burn. All right. Water pulse. That means hold back a tiny bit. Yes. All right. Flame wheel. That's a physical type attack. Ugh. Ah, the burn. I hate it. Okay. We're going to go straight for the Great Ball on this one. I want to have the best chances possible. Please, you, stay right in that ball, my turtle friend. Yes. Woo. 
Ooh, that was... That felt like a, an extremely close call. Good job on level 37, Sobs. There it is. The coal Pokemon. You find abandoned coal mines full of them. They dig tirelessly in search of coal. I, do they eat it? I'm guessing they eat it. Either way, happy to have him. I like Torkoal. Torkoal's a, Torkoal's a nice dude. He's a nice, friendly friend Pokemon. That will not have you insult him. I guess just slap me up with a... Well, no, the Hyper Potion's a little a bit overkill. Yeah, just give me the super. You know what? Give Vasilla a super as well. Okay. Berry tree. What you got for me? That's some citrus berries? Citrus berries are pretty nice. Another one? I, I clearly see more than one berry dropping. What, are they just falling off the cliff over there? What is this output? Ah! Okay, that is not what it looked like. A greeting. All right. Fat squirrel. The sunlight is harsh. However, we have the power of Iron Head. And we will use it. Bam! That was uh, not as strong as I was hoping it would be. Body Slam. Does some damage. Not that effective, though. Let's go for another Iron Head. There it is. Nicely done. You know, we could just catch this Pokemon. Let's do it. That way we'd, we have both um, Squavit and Greedon. If we can catch it. And right now, it's looking pretty good. Hey, there it is. Got her. Good job, Stoic. Almost got a level up out of that. Greedon State will be added. The greedy Pokemon. Common throughout the Galar region, this Pokemon has strong teeth that can chew through the toughest of berry shells. Cool. Please don't take away my citrus berries. Okay, the, just the Rost Berries. Okay, we still got two Citruses then. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Did I battle you? I did not. Are you making curry? Are you filling your curry decks? No, I mean, I, mean, I haven't been. I should be. I have, I, but I haven't been. Sorry, Backpacker Ruth. Bro. I, why did I not guess this was going to be your Pokemon? Oh, no. And you're high level two? I mean, you're level 31. Yeah, dude, we're just not built for this fight. Okay. Frank is our best bet. If he can survive one hit, then his air, his flying moves will be super effective. Okay, the two nervous to eat berries. There's revenge. Which doesn't do too much. Alright, give him your finest drill pack. There it is. That's the business. Ho, ho, ho. We didn't even need that crit. Just icing on the cake, my dudes. Good job, Frank. Whoa! A thousand experience for Stoic. Heck yeah, Fury Swipe. So that is a very Meowth and Meowth adjacent move. Uh, but not much damage, not much accuracy. Tells me that uh, we're just going to keep with what we got. He's got a pretty powerful set of moves, in my opinion, right now. I mean, Payday's not that powerful, but it's... uh practical, let's say. The strength of you and your Pokemon has made my mouth go numb. That's a... I feel like that's a weird comment, but maybe that's just me. Alright, we gotta go through this little cave system here, and I assume we gotta battle you to do it. What? You... Is that a sculpture? Mm, Pokemon is art too, if we both give it our all. Oh, God, his face started stunken. Oh, jeez. A coughing. Well, now, this is a good time to have a metal type in front. Steel type. I keep calling it metal. Neutralizing gas. All right. Iron head. Wablamis. All right, coughing is known for having some pretty decent defense. I think. I don't like the accuracy lowering, but if we can get one more Iron Head. Come on, Stoic. Stoic, no! Oh, you jerk! Oh, I hate this. I hate it when they do this. Oh, my gosh. It's using it again? 
Dude, do I need to pull out Swift for your stinky butt? Metal Claw has less accuracy, but I can use it more often. You cheeky little jerk! <laughs> yeah, your explosive doesn't do much to a, a steel type, does it? Woo! That's right. Eat my metal feet. Pseudo Wudo, a rock type. Actually, I think we have a big advantage here. Although we still have the accuracy debuff, so whoops. You know what? One Iron Head will finish it, though. Sucker Punch. Ouch. Not that bad, not that bad. Iron Head? No! It's just gonna keep suckering. There it is! And that's almost all you needed. Are you joking me, you sturdy little... <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He's going to use Sucker Punch again. And he won't eat berries. Yep. But it failed! Oh no! Pluck him. Bam! Sucker punch that. Well done, team. Alright, size made it to level 30. Maybe he's ready for the big leagues. Your moves are beautiful. Oh my, I'm completely fascinated by them. Well, at least now you don't look incredibly creepy. The greatest art is drawn from Pokemon and their trainer in battle. I mean, if you say so, my dude. Are you stoic? Alright. Let's go. Oh, did we make it to the next city? We did make it to the city. I didn't think we'd make it there that easily. Yo. The aesthetic here is pretty neat. I see you, Hop. And there's the gym. Very neat. Uh, the town of Stoanside. A vibrant town that has grown up around ancient an ancient mural tucked away in the mountains. Just getting here was so satisfying. I can't imagine what seeing the ruins will feel like. I know, right? I don't know. Let's camp. Hey, everybody! Hey, he's... Stoic's ready to go, man. Did you see him smile? Hey, Sai. How's it going? Would you... Oh, Wow. Wanna play with a feather? Is that something you're into? Oh yeah, he likes it. Very cool. Here. Take the ball. Alley oop. Oh jeez. They all started moving. Where y'all oh whoop oh, whoop. Oh. Vasilla's got it. Sneaky Vasilla. Good job. Yeah. Can we throw it again? You look like you want me to throw it again. Oh, hey! Hey there, Sobs. How's it going? <laughs> Dude, Priscilla loves to play catch. Heck yeah! Nice. Dude! She caught it while it was moving! Oh, no, that wasn't her. That was Frank. He plucked it out of the air! Priscilla's like, what the heck is going on? Oh my god! I lost it! Oh, now she's way off in the distance. That was pretty great. Alright, thanks Frank, good job. Let's get to cooking. While everyone else runs around. Alright, let's... Let's make some pungent root curry. See what that does to it. As for the berries, we'll, uh, you know, let's throw a couple of cherry berries in there. Give it a little bit of spice. Hmm. Maybe a lepa that's not dry. Throw a little bit of chestos in there. Goes well with greasy ingredients. And I don't know if we have anything that counts as that. Let's see. A couple of these I like. A little low. Use a couple of citruses. 
And then let's throw in a bitter agave and a sour and sweet greppa. All right. Just throw things in the pot. <laughs> Doesn't need to be complicated. I mean, if you want it to taste good, it kind of does, but that's not what I'm getting at here. I don't know the right... Whoa, we got size attention. He's like, yo, there's food happening. I wish I could get a better indicator, dude. Oh, the fire at the bottom would have been a good indicator. Probably. Were I not, you know, dumb. However, we're getting the sparks here. This is going well. Yeah, look at it cooking. You can see it cooking. Yeah. All right. And then I still think it, like, goes in right there. I mean, Psy looked happy with it. It's sparkling right now. I see the sparkles. All right, guys. Let's eat. Dry herb medley curry. A little sprig in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, Stoic's face is great. Uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah. All right. Is that three stars? Pokemon's HP was restored. Any status conditions were healed. Gained XP. And the rest of the party got friendly. Friendlier. Very nice. All right. Yo. Oh, hey. Hey, Parrish. How you doing, buddy? You having a good time? He's enjoying camping. Let's chat. He's full and satisfied. Tell me more. Looks like he wants to play more. Tell me more. He seems very happy to be with you. Go play. That Was that happy? Happily you go play? Okay, there he goes. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and pack it in. Get some experience. Hey, there you go. Priscilla and Frank, they played enough to almost get 400 experience out of that. Not bad for just playing around. That's going to be it for this episode of Pet Plays Pokemon Shield. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. I guess we don't need to go to the Pokemon Center now that I think about it. Thanks again for watching this episode of Pet Plays Pokemon Shield. My name is Stent, and I'll see you in the next video, my dudes.